welcome back to another online YouTube video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to draw different arcs. The use of three point arcs arc where I have a start, center, and end, start, center, angle, start, center, length, start, end, and angle, start, end, direction, start, end, radius, center, start, end, center, start, angle, and center, start, length. Let us start with the first one, which is three point arc. This is basically the simplest arc. For that arc, we click here, three points. And for this, we pretty much click on any three points we want to generate the arc. Say, for example, we wish to draw an arc from here to this point, to this point, enter. And we, that's basically it. We pretty much draw the arc, click three points to generate that arc. The second one, second arc is start, center, and angle. Start, center, and angle. Mm -hmm. So we click start, center, and angle. So for this, um, I probably should draw a line first. So here is, um, we will be drawing a line from here, your first, second point. So back to my arc, start, center, and end. So here is my start point. I wish to have my arc start here. My center is here. And I want this arc to end um, wherever I choose to end it. I can end this, this arc at a specific angle. Yeah. All right. I could choose to click where I want to end this arc, or I could enter a radius for this. It's important to note that um, angles are normally drawn, our arcs are produced in the anti clockwise direction. If you wish to change the direction at which the arc, the arc is drawn, you need to hold on the control, hold on the control key. That allows the arc to be drawn in the opposite direction. If not, it will be drawn in the regular anti-clockwise direction. All right, enter. So that's that for that one. Start, center, and angle. And uh, this is ideal for cases when you're generating a door. Generating a door. All right. Next one is start, center, start, center, end, start, center, and end, start, center, end. And uh, for this, I will be deleting. Let me delete this line first. Delete this line. Go back to this. Start, center, end. So we want to want to start start our arc here. This is the center, and we want to end the arc probably someplace up here. Enter. Start, center, angle. Specify a start point, center point, let center point be here. Let the center point be here. Space start point is here. Start point be here. Center point here. And the angle that I want. Let this be 90 degrees, nine zero, enter. And that's that for that. This one now is start, center, and length. Start, center, length. So first I'm gonna start by drawing a line. We go to start, center, length. Start, center, length. 
click start center lens. So I want to start here. Want here to be the center. And we want the length of the angle to be to be if we if we look if we look there, we will see um uh the value being generated. So we can determine how long this arc is. And uh, this is useful in cases when you're drawing um like development for a for um a pyramid or a cone. So once you enter the value for the arc, for example, 400 in this case, enter. This will draw an arc of length 400. Next one is to draw start and direction, start and direction. And uh, for this, start here, end here. Start and direction. And end point. So, and this next one is start and radius. Start and radius. So we will start a line here. Uh, say, for example, we wish to draw a line to pass through two points, like here, at a specific rate at a specific radius. Yeah. So we'll use that one. Start and radius. So here is our start point. Here is our end point, and we want a radius of um radius of 400, 400, zero, zero. enter. So this line is drawn at a radius of 400 millimeters and it starts here and end at that point. Center start end. Yeah, this one, center start end. Center point here, start and I end, we want to end right there. So start, center, end. Center, start, angle. So again, center, center, start. And I generate the angle that I want. All right. Center, start, length. Center, start, length. Center, start point, length. We are checking our length at one for that. So that's basically how we do how we do it. Yeah. So that's basically that for the use of um arcs.